Hello and welcome back to Two and Gaming and Stoneblock 2. And here we are in this room that's caused me a few problems. It is giving me mobs, drip, 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 feeding them. So I just come in and chop up one or two here and there. Keep things bubbling along. I haven't managed to pick up a single loot crate thing. But oh well, you get that. It is doing the job. So I've learned a few more things about how this all works. One thing is, I was worried about the lighting here bleeding into there and stopping from the mobs going, but it turns out that these half slabs are treated by the game as opaque, fully like the whole thing is blocked. So even though I can see in there, no light is actually getting there. So it's immaterial how much light is in here. This will spawn or it won't spawn depending on spawn rates. Uh, it's got nothing to do with lighting here. So I can keep this fully lit. Uh, as for my other worries about is it too bright, is it not too bright, I got a nice tip from Shadow RDSA uh, who commented on the video and he told me to just press the F7 key and I'll get this nice little indicator when ooh see it's all spawning over here isn't that helpful it tells me exactly that this is okay that's bad um, so that's a helpful key to know F7 so thank you for that tip um, Avlery D has also been giving me little tips here and there that are helping out. One, another thing you can do is if I put the slabs down over the whole floor that is then spawn proof they won't spawn on half slabs so Tricks of the trade, if that helps you with your uh, builds. I've just been playing around a little with chisel in the time where I couldn't record. Uh, hence a little bit of decorative items around the place. Today I wanted to show you the first sort of machine generators and things. So I made a space over here. This is going to be my uh, machine room. Or at least the first machine room. I'm sure there will be plenty. I'm going to do this a little bit different. It's not going to be the most efficient way necessarily or space conscious way but I think it's the best way for demonstrating how to put together a nice automated system for getting um, rocks smashed down into cobblestone and then sieved uh, for you without you having to interact with any of it whether to keep energy coming in to the machines or to keep the machines working or to have the output go into a nice container. So that's what I'm going to set up here. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I probably would recess it into the floor so that only be one level visible. But I'm going to make it all visible for you here. So the first thing we want to do is grab our cobblestone generator. This is all nice and full. I'll be able to use that as a resource. But I will firstly grab this cobblestone generator because stone is at the heart of everything you need. So I will gonna, I'm will i going to put that into the center of my design. Where are we? Boo, boo, boo. There it is. So I can start generating some cobblestone for us uh, in there. And then what I want to put in is it's going to need... A receiver but I haven't put it sit it exactly on top uh, you certainly can and that's one of the ways to make it more efficient make it t a tighter unit but like I said I want to make this a little more visible and the reason I'm doing that is because we want the cobblestone to not only feed the auto hammer but some uh, crystals that's right we want to have some lava coming in to fire up our generators so for that we're going to need to put in some netherrack one here oh not a torch netherrack yes uh, so we put that in there and we will want to put in some crucibles here's some I prepared earlier so there we go so we've got the basics there and then we would like that and we would like that to fire up the crucibles but of course there's no stone in there we want stone to go from here to the barrel to there to there so we are going to need some transfer pipes to pipe things around you see so if I bring that up and that up what do I need I've got everything I need for 64 transfer pipes transfer pipes perfect 
but in order to make the pipes carry things we are going to need some of these lovely transfer nodes so I would grab one for items because we are currently moving around stone Oop, too large let's go this way so transfer node so what we're missing for that is an empty bucket because I was silly enough to fill up both of my buckets sure let's how about I empty my water bucket hang on a moment I'll come over here I did end up putting lights in my fountain nice and decorational uh, Avler ED suggested I look up sinks for less messy water but I like my fountain now I will look up sinks but I'll just do it later uh, it'll probably come in handy somewhere else if he's suggesting it okay so back to what I was doing remember to bring up the craft table and we want transfer node items now we can add in four we'll grab four for now I can't remember if I need more than that so transfer node of items if I place that there that will now tell the items in here to come out there as long as it's connected to something which would be the pipe if I wanted to reverse it I would hold down shift and place it let me just pick it up I'll show you that Oop. Uh, shift I'm oh, not shift in place control in place it anyway uh, that would tell it to go the other way so you can put it on in reverse shift place and then a pipe and if we look in our crate Ta -da! now the reason why I'm using crates instead of chests is one they're smaller uh, for a large amount of capacity but two you don't have to worry about having the block free above it with a chest you need the block free above it so can the lid can open but a crate apparently can just dig through the side to get what you want so uh, that's perfect so there we go with the node and pipes I'm now got stone popping up into here I might just add some more stone just to get it kicked off but with a diamond cobblestone generator you see that's coming through pretty fast and it's pretty much going to meet my needs with a bit of a head start now I want it to go over there so I will put down the transfer node here and here and then pipe here and here now if we look in here you'll notice up top there it's got cobblestone feeding in automatically I don't have to come back and feed that crucible it's automatically feeding in the lava uh, the cobblestone for the crucible to make the lava for me yes so I've now got automatic lava uh, but of course it's going to fill up to 4,000 and then stop because that's all it needs or that's all it contains we want that to come out of there and come into what we want it to do all right so what I'm, what I might do is just, I always get a little nervous around the, the flames. I don't want it spreading and breaking my other stuff. You know what I mean? I, I, whenever I think, oh yeah, no, that'll be fine. It isn't fine. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some glass here so you can still see what's going on behind it. Uh, but it's sort of blocking that off a little bit. Yeah. Now, of course, lava is not a solid, it is a fluid. So we now need to put in some transfer nodes for fluids instead of solids. Okay, so I will make four of those. Boo! Like so. So obviously you can see some of these, these recipes, we're needing a lot of redstone. Uh, you're going to need some basic stone buckets, all that sort of stuff. Uh, to put it in there, you, you can make the flat transfer nodes. And what the flat transfer nodes do for you is they uh, mean you don't need a pipe. You can you can basically put the cr the crate right next to the crucible with that in between, and it will transfer it directly without a pipe between the two. And all you need to do for that is basically have a regular node and an anvil to bang it on. Uh, you get the anvil back. So it doesn't disappear, so you do get it back, which is fine. Okay, so you can reuse it as many times as you need to bang these flat enough to use instead of having to pipe as well. Pipes are cheap though, and like I said, this is easy to, to, to view. So we've got the lava being generated. We now have some uh, fluid transfer nodes. So I will whack one on there and whack one on there. But I also need one of these items nodes because I'm going to be powering an auto hammer and that needs stone too. It needs something to crush basically 
Uh, so we do that. Oop, I can put a pipe. I'm just holding down shift there rather than opening up the node. So we've now got pipes coming out. Boop, boop, boop. Three in a row. So I've got lava. What I want to do now is connect it to a generator. Yes. Let's generate some power. Um, I think I actually wanted to put a gap there instead of the glass. Like gap, then glass. Anyway. Uh, so that I could get behind it and do whatever I needed to do. That's okay. Yeah, just smash it. It's just glass. Cheap as sand, mate. Cheap as sand. Anyway, so... Let me do that now. Because I'm in a destructive mood. Do, do, do. Hammer time. There we go. Now we've got access behind there if I need to change anything or whatever. Okay. Sure, we got the glass at the front now. We want to put some generators on there. There are a few generators in the game. But the only one I really like at this point of operations for simplicity is the magmatic generator. But there are other ones. There's a survival generator. There's a, the furnace generator. They basically use your standard uh, materials to burn. So your water, coal, or whatever. Your, your usual things that you use to, to, to burn up. Or you can cook food. Uh, and that sort of thing. But that requires feeding in those materials on a constant base. Which means you need to harvest them on a constant base. So you could loop back your auto sieve with its coal. But you're really relying on a lot coming out. And to keep it maintained. Whereas magma, once you've got a cobblestone generator and your crucible set up and an automatic feed, it's going to give you a constant supply very cheaply, very simply. That's why I like the magmatic generator. So I will click on here. Now it needs a few other base things. Basically, to get your magmatic generator, you need furnace generators. Now, uh, the furnace... Um, so the magmatic generator will put out quite a reasonable amount of energy. But if you hook up, you can hook up both your auto sieve and your auto hammer at once. But you're going to find it's going to slow down the process a little bit. Because they're going to drain all that you've got. Uh, I need more cobblestone for making those. Where is it all? Oh, I must have used it all up. Okay, let me come back over here and get some more cobblestone. I have plenty in a compressed format. That should be enough. Okay. I want to know, use this one I put in the floor. Okay, so we want furnace. Well, first we want this one. Do, 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 do. Two of those, because of course we want to make two of them. Then we need the. This one that needs machine blocks, which needs dead stuff. And I need more chests. That's okay, let's get two of those. So you got to make this and that and make that and this, but it's well worth the effort uh, in the end because then I can go off and do whatever I want, decorate whatever and have this constant thing going in the background for me. Very nice, very nice. Machine block, another one of those. That's all I need because it gives me four at once. Uh, furnace generator. Uh, I need two of those. I'm too lazy to put the pattern in by myself. And then magmatic generator. I'm going to need some lava bucket and gold, which I forgot to pick up. So I've got one lava bucket. Uh, I used up that other bucket, didn't I, for the thing, Majubi? Yeah, that other thing I did. Let's make one more. Yeah, so obviously you're going to need a bit of iron before this stuff comes into play but if you spend a little bit of time sieving you'll have all you need uh, do, no not that one uh, this one okay here's some more lava I prepared earlier got a nice supply in hand because I still haven't done that netherrack quest and now whoop, I need a crafting table <whistles> we're getting there folks we're getting there right Gold. I forgot the gold. Why didn't you tell me I forgot the gold? Why didn't you? And I got lots of that too. Now, let's do this thing. I'll have one of those. 
and I'll have two of those. Thank you very much. Now I've got two magmatic generators. Give me my bucket back. I can put one here. Then notice immediately it's filling up with lava and generating electricity. Now we'll store that up. 100,000 RF ready to rumble. And I'd put another one here. And it goes too. So there we go. So far we've got a cobblestone generator putting stone into the chest. Which is putting giving stone to the crucible and the other crucible which is making lava which is giving to the magmatic generators on either side and we are underway we are very well underway it's all happening here then what do i do next well what am i powering i've got to power stuff don't i that's the whole point isn't it so let's get some stuff powered and to do that i will need to make a Auto hammer, like so. For that, I'm going to need a few items, which fortunately I have mostly of. Again, because I spent a bit of time sifting, it's got me what I need. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make two diamond hammers, and you'll see why in a moment. So, we two of those. Uh, what else did I need? I think I needed some weighted pressure plates. Okay, let's. I need two of those. That's pretty simple. And that's it. Auto hammer. So that's going to get me to the first stage. So I put this over here. And then I just need to connect um, some power. Power. Okay. I forgot to put that in my favorites. Over here, retrieval node, transfer node fluids, transfer node items, and energy. There we are. Okay, redstone block. Oh, I got plenty of that. Let us press the A key. Remember that puts it up into your favorites list. Let's get a redstone block. Like so. That should be all I need. Uh, we'll make one of those. Actually, I need two of those, don't I? Ooh, yes, that would be helpful. Because I've got two machines. So we make two of those. Transfer node energy. And that, I can put one here. One here. Oh no, I don't want it there. Silly boy, because it's going to be up the front here. I want that one. Oop, I forgot to press shift. There. Okay, so now when I put a pipe here, look, it's on the way! Perfect, perfect. It's doing exactly what I want. Okay, so now we have our hammer turning cobblestone into gravel. Not super fast, but it's getting plenty of energy, so it's going to power away for quite a while. If I want to speed that up, you'll notice there's two hammer slots. Put another hammer in there. If I want to speed it up even more, I put a second hammer in. And then I'll have, it'll go as fast as it can go, basically. And at this stage of the game, that's all you need. Get it cranking. Alright, so now we need the auto sieve. Whew, we're getting there, we're getting there. Auto sieve. There it is. Okay, what do I need for that? Oh, blah, blah, blah. It's got a bunch of stuff. Okay, I'll be back in a second with all that stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just thought I'd mention if you look over in the corner. Oh, there's lots of dudes hanging out. So it does work. Here and there. Boop. Anyway, so you look here, I've got all the items now. Let's make ourselves an auto sieve. And if we place that here, Ooh. see that's looking good. Uh, do we have any more transfer nodes for items? We do not. Okay, I better make some more of those. 
only need one, but still, could come in handy later. So now we've got him going crazy, doing the job we set him to do. Well, oh, no, there's no per. This this is a person. Sorry, that's just ghost hammers. This is a little person going to do the seven for us. Oh, I'm going to need to give him a um a, a mesh, of course. I'll do use this one for now, um, and make another one and replace it in the heavy sieve. Okay, so sure, no mesh yep, sorry. There we go, there's your mesh. Now I want to transfer what's coming out of here to there. But what if I need some of that co cobblestone? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, some of that uh, gravel for sifting and stuff. So this is a point where I go, hmm, ha, hmm, yeah, actually I might put in another one of my containers. So I'll put that there. Plenty of pipe. So I could put this there, that there. Now it's feeding into the crate. So if I need to come and grab some, I can. Now I'll put that there. And that there. Hey, look. Oh, they're underway. And they're now going to sift for me. Yay. Actually, I did need more, plenty more of these items. I forgot. Uh, and at this point, I go, okay, well, this is going to fill up fast because diamond with gravel is going to spit out a lot of different stuff. Uh, hopefully lots of diamonds. So that's not going to contain much in there. So I would just link that out to a one last crate. Whoops. <laughs> that's not where I meant to put it, but um, that'll do. Generally, I put it there. See, and I've, I've recessed everything down two blocks. This would be sitting on the top level. I had full access to these top options, and it, only if I needed to go in and change something up uh, down lower that I would need to dig down to get at it. So there we go. That's fully done. We're now getting these items here. All I need to do to check what's being sifted out of my um, gravel for me is all there. If I wanted to change up what's going on, I could always just break this and put in sand or um, dust or whatever. Uh, but I really, see I can just use, if I need just some of those peak items, I'd come over and use my manual system for that. Really, the thing that I want generating is a lot of those metals and these other items that will come in handy later for Thorncraft and keep my diamond supply coming through pretty regularly. You can have lots of iron coming this way. See, so it's just about the most common thing you're going to get. Iron, coal for any baking needs I need. Uh, so you see, this, this is where it's at. Uh, one thing I did want to mention before I go is since I last recorded, they did do a couple of little updates to the pack, the, the, the mod pack, and um, they ruined the game, basically. They totally ruined it. That's all I can say because they took out the wub gems. My, I was just crowing about all the wub stuff I had. It's gone. It's gone, wub gems. Apparently, it was crashing some people's games and these. I don't know who they are. They they complained and they got rid of the wub gems. They've disabled them and they've ruined the game. No, they haven't. I'll I'll get over it. I'll shed a lonely tear and then I'll move on. But um, there's no more wub gems at this point unless they work out how to stop it crashing people with I don't know inferior systems I guess or maybe it was on servers it was overloading them whatever. So they're gone. So I'm having to settle for inferior equipment. Uh, osmium diamond. Ugh diamond slumming it what can i say but uh, maybe one day they'll bring it back okay well thanks for watching this long episode but i just wanted to show you this array getting this sort of set up means i can now do a bunch of other stuff and still have all these resources coming in at a steady drip uh and when i need it i can just go get it cook some up and it's all happy times um yeah and i love it if you wanted you could even hook up a uh a big furnace to it, a diamond furnace or something, and have it feeding through a bunch of that stuff. So you didn't even have to do that. Just take a couple more nodes, a couple more pipes, and she is apples. Okay, I'll catch you next time. Perfect. Perfect.